Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 26th day of April. Getting set for a two-day onslaught of severe weather across the state, and clearly tomorrow should be the day with the most serious threat. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the SkyCam images around the network this morning. First off, coming from Hamilton, up in Marion County in northwest Alabama, where some light rain is falling. Had a pretty uh, nasty uh, batch of storms moving into Alabama about 1 o'clock this morning, but as expected, those weaken with time. And there's no severe weather in progress early this morning. That's the uh, Haleyville SkyCam in Winston County. They've had some rain there as well. And from Tuscaloosa, that's the way things look at 5 a.m., early this morning. All right, got a negative tilt trough to the west, producing all kind of active weather, mainly north and west of the state. And again, uh, it's going to provide a two-day severe weather threat to the state. And boy, clearly, uh, this thing yesterday was just deadly. Uh, there's a look at the storm reports from yesterday, and we had uh, 38 reports of tornadoes in Texas, Arkansas, and western Tennessee. 251 reports of damaging wind and 97 reports of large hail. The total reports there at 386. And clearly this storm, you see the couplet there north of Little Rock. Uh, that is the most deadly so far. Uh, the community of Valonia, which is north of Little Rock, uh, was hit by what could be one of these EF4, EF5 tornadoes based on the reports. Uh, at least... Uh, two people have died there, and 50 to 60 people are unaccounted for. And we all know that you really don't know until the first light of day how bad it is. And I'm afraid when uh, the sun comes up this morning, it's going to be a bad, bad scene up there. But we must move on here. There's a look at the radar at uh, 5.02 this morning. And again, you can see how uh, it's raining. Nothing severe back in northwest Alabama. Heavier rain back over north Mississippi and western Tennessee. But no watches or no warnings this morning, and that's good. There's the big picture. Look at all the flash flood watches from Arkansas, North Mississippi, and North Alabama, north to near Indianapolis. Uh, the Huntsville uh, Weather Service counties are in a flash flood watch, not the Birmingham counties for now. Uh, and we've got a, a severe thunderstorm watch down south. That's really the uh, stronger storms across the southern states over uh, Louisiana and southwest Mississippi. And uh, that watch is set to uh, expire at 7 this morning, but there will be more later today, as you can see. A moderate risk today. The enhanced risk is from near Paris, Texas to Memphis. And again, that includes much of Arkansas and parts of the Mississippi Delta. And the probabilities within that moderate risk area are 45%. Basically, a 50-50 chance you'll have severe weather within 25 miles of any given point. And tomorrow, that enhanced risk is right on top of us. It runs from near Demopolis up to uh, Lexington, Kentucky. And that includes the northern half of Alabama, much of Middle Tennessee, and parts of Kentucky. And uh, same deal, a 45% probability of severe weather within 25 miles of any given point. And it could be one of these red-letter days and, and you know, Again, again, a lot of this will be determined by mesoscale features. We just don't know yet whether it's going to be a red-letter day or not, but certainly the potential is there. And then on uh, day three, which is uh, Thursday, the risk is over on the Atlantic seaboard as we get into cooler, drier air. There's the expected rain for the next five days. On top of the rain that's already come down, an additional 7.5 inches at Memphis, 5.5 inches north of Nashville, and across our state, one to two inches are clearly likely. And up in the uh, Tennessee Valley, they're suggesting rainfall amounts of two to four up there. That's where that flash flood watch is currently in effect. And we might see some spots down here that go over two inches, clearly, uh, between now and late tomorrow night. Let's dig a little deeper. This is computer modeling. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And you could still see energy coming down the backside of this trough. It is not, you know, completely developed yet. And down below that, this lead surface low is uh, located west of Chicago. And again today, we'll have showers and storms around. And with the boundary left over from last night's storm, 
you know, there could be enough low-level helicity for a few rotating up drafts. Well, we'll take a look. This is the instability today at 1 o'clock, and clearly the deeper values, the higher instability values are west of the state where that moderate risk is in effect. Certainly it's unstable enough for active convection here, and the storms that do form later today in this evening could produce hail and strong winds. There's the helicity numbers, and they're not that impressive. And again, we don't expect tornadoes to be a major problem today. But again, having said that, with boundaries from last night's convection, there could be enough backed winds in spots for a few rotating updrafts. Not totally out of the question, but we think the main risk later today and tonight will be from hail and strong straight line winds. Uh, there's the energy helicity index. And clearly, the bigger numbers are west of here, back over that moderate risk area. All right, tomorrow, this is when things can be pretty rough. This is at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The uh, energy is coming to the base of the trough. It assumes a somewhat negative tilt. And the new surface low is north of Memphis. That is a very favorable area for severe weather in our state. And it's under 1,000 millibars, 996 millibars. You've got uh, ongoing convection north of the state. And down here, the air should be pretty unstable. And initially, we think tomorrow morning will probably be quiet because of the capping inversion that kind of keeps a lid on things but if we hit as we hit the convective temperature then uh, the cap should break and we'll see storms developing and initially they will probably be cellular and those could produce those strong long track tornadoes uh, from north alabama north into tennessee if tennessee can destabilize and that remains to be seen uh, there's the energy helicity index this is at uh, seven o'clock tomorrow evening and uh, you know, those numbers are almost seven units and really anything over one or two is significant. That's almost off the chart. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, and this is valid at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And the uh, tornado parameter values are maxed out from about, uh, well, U.S. 278 in North Alabama up into Kentucky. But remember, anything over, you know, a two is very significant. You've got that all the way down to New Orleans. And it remains to be seen if the if the instability will be sufficient for that up in Tennessee. They might have a big rain mass tomorrow morning that kind of foul things up for them in terms of stabilization, which I say foul things up. It would be good for them, but it would foul up the convective development process. But whatever, clearly the chance of strong tornadoes is on the board. And the uh, supercell composite uh, index off the chart. Uh, for North Alabama and Tennessee, and very high numbers all across North Alabama. And the Craven Brooks Index almost off the chart. And, you know, we, we can sit here and show you these things over and over again. You don't see them like this that often. These are, you know, a pretty rare setup here. So potential for a major severe weather outbreak tomorrow. We don't get caught up in hyperbole, and, you know, we're not trying to scare people at all. Maybe it won't be as bad as it all looks here, but clearly the players are on the board here for potential for a – Major tornado outbreak tomorrow and tomorrow night. Just be close to a good source of weather information. We think initially the main threat will begin tomorrow afternoon, anytime after the lunch hour. And uh, it will wind down late tomorrow night, well past midnight. I say well past midnight, probably 1, 2 o'clock, something like that. All right, Thursday, the trough axis is progressive, and we are dry slotted. We get into cooler air. Yeah, that sounds good. High, uh, probably 72 to 75 on Thursday, a nice north breeze and Friday will be gorgeous. Probably start today Friday morning in the uh, upper 40s, maybe low 50s, and wind up in the upper 70s with a cloudless sky. For your weekend plans, Saturday looks good. Mostly sunny and uh, a bit warmer. Low 80s are likely. And then Sunday, here comes a, a cold front. But this time, we've got ridging coming in from the south. So this will not be more than likely a severe weather issue. You can see the big upper low north of us. And down below that, there's an surface low underneath that in that trailing furnace producing a band of showers and storms and it's clearly going to run out of gas with that ridge so monday it just stops and uh, the chance of showers and storms will extend into monday uh, monday so we'll mention a two-day chance of showers and storms sunday monday severe weather not looking likely at all with that and then a week from today and a new surface high comes down with enough push to move that thing to the south and it's pretty cold air coming down through the great lakes uh, if this is right We'll check the end of the forecast on May 11th. Got ridging here, and that's going to be nice and quiet if that happens to be correct. And again, I remind everybody that May is still 
tornado season here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story, and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day, you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.